Olympics and now it's just tears at the Aviva Stadium. What a performance by Ronan Agara and his side. I can only imagine that hard time conversation. But for Leinster, they're counting the losses. Three this season, two of them. Leinster should definitely rethink the approach of fielding their B team in the URC and their first choice team in the Champions Cup. But guys, what a brilliant game between Leinster and La Rochelle. Man, this was one of the best club games I've seen in a very long time. I just want to uh, give my congratulations to both teams for entertaining us, for giving us a spectacle of a rugby game. So when Leinster was up 17-0, I thought to myself, here we go, Leinster, they will be winning this Champions Cup, failing in the semi-finals against Munster in the URC, they will make amends and beat La Rochelle at the Viva Stadium in Dublin and would kick on and become champions of Europe. However, it didn't turn out like that. In the beginning, especially in the first half, it was like taking candy from a baby for Leinster. Leinster, they were bossing the breakdown. They were bossing and manhandling La Rochelle in defense. Everything went Leinster's way in the first half. However, I must say, in the second half, La Rochelle came back. They asked Eldridge in the post-match interview, what did Ronan O'Gara say? His response was, he didn't talk much. The players basically came together and decided, listen here, we have to take this thing by the scuff of the neck. And surely, La Rochelle, they did that. They started to win the kicking game. Leinster could not come out to the half. They made a couple of mistakes. I can remember that Hugo Keenan, he kicked the ball out in the full. The Leinster back three, they had a very difficult second half in the kicking game. It was an absolute disaster for Leinster. Then there was the yellow card of um, Ala Alatua and then obviously, but I think what actually balanced it was also the yellow card that La Rochelle received early in the game and as well late in the game to level things out. However, La Rochelle came back, they started to pin Leinster in the half, they started to win the King game. They were on par with Leinster at the breakdown. They basically held their own at line-out time, they held their own at set-piece phases. La Rochelle, they came back. And La Rochelle's power game, it was almost like the yellow submarine, the yellow mean machine on the roll. And Leinster, unfortunately, it was a bridge too far. In order for Leinster to win a trophy next season, they will need to change the system a little bit. I think many people think that Leinster are disrespecting the URC. However, with the inclusion of the South African sides and I think all the teams lifting up the standard, the URC become a more difficult tournament to win. And gone are the years where Leinster could field a B team in the URC and actually go on, go on to win the URC. Gone are those days. So I would think from quarterfinal onwards, Leinster will need to field the the first team for them to actually win the URC. Because if you look at the, the French teams, if you look at La Rochelle, those same players that played in this final tonight are the same guys that's playing week in and week out in the top 14. But guys, La Rochelle, La Rochelle, La Rochelle. Are they the best club team in the world? Are they? I would think that it will be great actually for the the champions of Europe to face the champions of Super Rugby and that will determine the best rugby club team in the world. But La Rochelle, they are up there. Oh, exquisite. That was a beautiful game. I hope you guys enjoy the game as much as I enjoyed the game. And I'm just looking forward now to, to the URC final. What Munster and the Stormers can dish up. I'm hoping it will be a similar fair to what we saw now tonight. But let's wait and see. So guys, what's your opinion on the La Rochelle Leinster game? Do you guys enjoy the game? What's your comments on this game? Do you guys think that Leinster they have to change something in the system? Um, will Zach Ninaba take them to a level where they win the URC and win the Champions Cup? What do you guys think? Talk to me in the comments, guys. For those who haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll catch you guys on my next video.